Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another poem. That was a video. Last one before I go to bed. It's, it's like one right now. I'm very tired. I just did like, I don't know. It's a lot of videos in a row. <laughs> Anyways, alright. Enough about me. Let's, let's get into the, the Stevens. Alright, Steven. So the, we're getting a Lodge Steven, and we're also getting a uh, expansion for Metagross. Which I've heard isn't great, but... <laughs> We'll see. I, I haven't seen I haven't seen the single note yet. I haven't seen the single note, so it's just gonna be like, yeah. All right, we'll see. Steven Cardilli. All right, what's up? But I, by the way, shout outs to whoever made this 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 pair, cause Cardilli, incredibly underrated Pokemon as well. I'm glad they 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 actually you know someone remembers this Pokemon exists. I love Cardilli. It's so cool, man. It's yeah, amazing. I love Cardilli. Fantastic. All right, very nice. Um, yeah, sh shadows Cray Dilly. Where, where, where the, where, where the Cray Dilly gang at, man? <laughs> All right. Uh, type Rock, weak versus Steel, Tech, and they're gonna have EXs now, right? So that's really, really nice, at least. So hopefully it's a Nuker. Hopefully it's a Tech Nuker. You know. Mm, five star over here. Let's check out the five star stats, just so it's easier to compare across, right? So. Alright, so over here we have what 624 HP 400 special attack. Alright, man. 400 special attack. Um Loki, like, this isn't this is almost 200 on defenses. <laughs> Which isn't still isn't like anything crazy, but you know. And uh 247 speed. Okay. Alright, so mediocre speed. Acid. 10% debuffing uh, special defense by one, one gauge. H and power. Bruh. Oh, he has to be a nuker. He has to be a nuker. No way this guy's getting 400 special attack for like acid and H and power, man. Oh, this guy gotta be a nuker. Uh, stealth rocks. Why is anyone still getting stealth? Like, this is this this is a borderline just like useless like thing. This, this, it's, this, this garbage <laughs> it's just like nothing <laughs> and like 95 percent you know case and errors it does like absolutely nothing gem hunt special attack special defense plus two endurance two mp okay all okay. right so we need crit here right on roll four on roll four i believe that's what 50 percent for um Spiral Defense debuff. Water Guard, Catalytic Infliction. Ooh. Wait. Oh, Stealth Rocks. Okay. Like, like, like the the only like use for Stealth Rocks is just to like trigger some other mult it's multiplier. It's like um it's like restrained. <laughs> it's basically like restrained. It does like one percent more stuff than like restrain because like restrain is totally useless <laughs> right anyways all right uh catalytic infliction move good acceleration when you use stealth rock basically uh rock lever space cadet all right let's check out the grid oh wait 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 what's what's a nuke rock damage field yeah 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 all right mm. speed plus 20 all right, four, <laughs> four sync nuke, BP ups. Uh, good start, good start. NPR two, follow through nine. Honestly, I like that. I like that. I like that. Cause, for like a unit that like, let's be real, like your range of power and acid is doing nothing anyways, right? So like, I'd rather have like guaranteed. Like, if you wanted me to choose between. Guaranteed crit, because it's it's a nuker. Well, I don't know if it's 100% if it's a nuker yet, but it has to be, right? It has to be a nuker, right? It's gonna be so funny if we scroll down the bottom, like there's no sync nuke multipliers outside of just like the innate one and like BP power ups. But yeah, like assuming he's gonna be a sync nuker, which looks like very much he will be. Um, yeah, I just rather have this, right? Like rather have guaranteed crit over like you know crit buffs. The argument. Is okay. Well, you could only you're only getting two guaranteed crits, which well, I mean, if you get NPR, you get more. But on the other hand, it's like okay, 
in most care scenarios, do you really need more than two, right? In master mode, if you need more than two sync nukes, you're probably in trouble. Uh, anyways, and then like in gauntlet, come on, maybe three, but like on the other hand, like support EX sync first, and then two more tech syncs. Probably gets the job done if you have a solid enough DPS unit, right? Outputting to maybe just finish off the first bar and then second bar, one nuke, third bar, one nuke. Yeah, it's pretty much it, right? What else? Um, super preparation on South Rock. That's uh, yeah, that's good too, right? Right, right before you sink, you use a Stealth Rock. You get super effective up next. You get guaranteed crit next. NPR on that. Ramp up on Gem Hunt. Okay, so, so, yeah. So you will be able to max out your special attack without having to rely on NPR. You can have plus one crit. Okay, so, yeah, there's, there's that's, that's, that's where, that's where Lorelei comes in for, with that plus two crit. That's where that Lorelei comes in, folks. Swag bag three, swag bag five. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I... At least in comparison to, like, the random buffs that Klefki gets, this is, like, it's an Omni buff. It's you guaranteed to get all those stat buffs, right? Because it's ancient power Omni buff, right? Staggering two thirty percent chance to uh, flinch. That's really really nice. You know, again, just at least you do something in between the turns that you're sinking. <laughs> uh, brain teaser. There it is. Finally, huh? Wait, brain teaser is not what I what I was looking for. Brute wits would be the one I'd I'd be looking for because <laughs> this is just for like ancient power and acid, which is not a lot. Um. Let's see, brute. Wait, isn't it the other way around? Wasn't brain teaser the sink? And no, 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 no. no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm misremembering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brain teasers the, 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 the regular moves, and brute wits is the sink. Uh, give me a break, folks. I'm, 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 it's, I'm about to fall asleep like right on camera right now. So, um, rock DF power up three. Okay. Why, why couldn't this be like sink? You know, extra three percent on sink. And said, uh, overall, overall, the sync's not gonna be bad, right? Because uh, it's what 400 something base physical or special attack. 400. Yeah, 400, right? Just 400. Uh, you got 400 there. I mean, you know, if you get him to six star ex, right, for the tech nuke, that's what four, four, 420 special attack, and you get the innate nuke. You get super effective up next before you get a guaranteed crit on it, and then you have the two times multiplier on brute wits, and on top of that, you're you know for that to fully trigger, you need to debuff the opponent's special defense anyways as well, right? So we're also gonna have that. Um, overall, he's gonna have a good nuke. He's definitely gonna have a good nuke. Uh, I feel like uh, his issue is more in terms of first of all, he does like no no damage outside of his nuke, <laughs> uh, but but also that um the team's gonna be a bit awkward because there's, there's a few things he needs right uh rock zone isn't like a must-have but you know it's, it would be nice to have rock zone uh for uh for most case scenarios but also the debuffs right right he, like the special defense debuffs he does have it but if you want want to get it maxed out by like the second sync or the first sync, obviously that's not enough just by himself, right? So yeah, he just needs help. He he needs help. He could he, he he's definitely gonna nuke very very well. He's definitely gonna give you really really good nuke damage, right? With again all these all, all the stuff that he's got and and very reliable uh, nuke damage, especially against rock weak opponents. But yeah, you you just need you just need some help there, right? Uh, staggering, you know, nice to throw that in as well. That's that's also very cool. But I'd say overall, it's it's a it's a nice, you know, little it's it's a it's a, it's a lodge unit, right? You know, as long as you get the original unit, it's, it's a free it's free extra unit, so like why not? But um, other than that, it's fine. It's fine. You 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 just need you just need you just need more help, right? Setting everything up. And, and and stuff. Um, I believe you also need crit, right? So you need someone to buff crit. You need someone to debuff um, special defense. And yeah, that's that's a lodge Steven. Let's check out the uh, original Steven over here. Metagross. 
Obviously, why did I just pronounce it like that? Um, well, it's not pronounced, it's the stress, right? It's where you put the stress. Uh, Alright, let's check out the, uh, the the grid. The grid. Where's, where's, where's the grid? Grid. Halt. Um. Did they delete the grid? Or is it not on Mega? Is it, they, they have it on, on the regular one, right? You know what, let's just go to Synchro Tour, man. Whatever. Um. Steven Metagross. Alright. Oh, that's surprising. Because I was expecting that, um, I was expecting they'd, uh, they'd also give him, like, the horizontal expansions as well, considering this is, I think, the only one that's getting expanded, right, this month. Let me just double check over here. Thievul, Stalin, Metacross, Gridilly, Klufki, Fanfi, Cloyster, Ru Oh, there's all Reuniclus? Okay, alright, well, you know about that. Well, we'll check for Reuniclus, too, I guess, <laughs> this video. Um... Okay, well, my. Th All right, if if you see no Caitlyn on the thumbnail, it's not because I hate Caitlyn or whatever. It's I, I my thumbnail maker prepares this like beforehand, right? And um, I guess we did, we we didn't know there's also Caitlyn. That was only Steven. Anyways, but we'll, we'll talk about it. It's fine. Uh, all right, for Steven over here. So we have Unflappable, first of all, for 2 out of 5. Tough Sync 3 for 2 out of 5. Okay. I'm surprised they gave him more Sync stuff, because honestly, he doesn't really need more Sync stuff. His Sync's, you know, already... It's fine, right? Uh, what else we got? Bullet Punch Staggering 9? Did I get trolled? Did I get trolled by my, by my friends? That's a guaranteed flinch. That's six with Lyra. I mean, it is bullet punch, so it's not like infinite, right? Because he doesn't have um any way of getting MP back. But that's a guaranteed flinch, man. And keep in mind, this guy already flinches with um Iron Hat aggravation. Why did they Why did they take out aggravation? Uh, but yeah, he has like Iron Head Aggravation as well, which is a 60% flinch. So you have that 60% flinch already, and then you have a guaranteed flinch when you absolutely need it. Like, you know, for example, if you're fighting, I don't know, like like Ente, you absolutely want to, you know, if, if your tank can't really deal with, with um, traps, you want to make sure on, you know, before turn 3, you want to flinch that guy, right? So he doesn't get that fire spin off, and hopefully you could get half bar of, of end date done before that then boom throw one of these that's also um borderline impossible because you'd have to sync with him first i mean it's not in completely impossible with all the like the crazy sync of countdown units that we've been getting uh recently so i guess you could like theoretically sync really really fast and get it in but uh that's okay maybe that that was not the best example <laughs> but you know that's just a theoretical example i guess <laughs> right you know when we really need one boom that's a guaranteed flinch and then you got uh sync defense all minus two debuffs opponents on your sync minus two i mean this stuff is kind of whatever i mean it's good is it good to have like yeah yeah you know debuff bonus defenses that's nice for physical defense but that's only like one cents on like four, minus two so vigilance okay and sync damage guard which is like tanking stuff uh which he's not a bad tank he's actually not a bad tank uh, well, at least physical tank. He's, he's not a good special tank, but he's not a bad physical tank. Uh, because first of all, he has good physical defense. He buffs those physical defenses. And then he also has, like, recuperation. So, you know, you heal yourself every time as well. And then you also, you know, uh, in conjunction with the, 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 the flinches, you're actually a pretty legitimate tank, right? This is not... Uh, you know, tank Steven is, is, is not a meme. Like, striker tank. Like, of all the strikers in the game, he's probably, like, top 10 best tanks that are also strikers, so... I don't fact-check me on that. I don't, I, I don't have 10 tank strikers listed in my head right now. But, you know, he's probably one, he's one of the better ones, so... I don't know. Look, did this solve his biggest issue? Which is... Uh, DPS is not good. 
or I wouldn't say it's not good because it's not like terrible, but like not great DPS. Uh, no, it didn't, right? This basically just made what he was already really good at even better, which is the flinch, the the sync move damage, right, and the tanking as a striker. So those are the three three big things that he does, and every single one of them got better. Just that the one thing he doesn't do very well did not get better. So I guess in that sense, right, this is not like a big, oh my god, right, grid, like, you know, um, something like the Lance just got or whatever, right? Uh, but it's not like nothing either. Am I getting trolled? Because... I don't know, I, th I think... I'm, I'm getting... Am I... Is my, is my thumbnail guy gaslighting me? Is Boshi gaslighting me? <laughs> because... Uh, when he sent me the thumbnail, I was like, oh, you know. Oh, this guy, this guy grid sucks. It's like, oh, damn. But like, this isn't bad. I mean, it's again, it's not perfect. It's not like fantastic or whatever, but this is not terrible. Like, guaranteed flinch? Yes. <laughs> I would like, I would like very much guaranteed flinch. I don't care what situation or unit or whatever context it is in. I mean, if you have the chance to guaranteed flinch anyone, it's not even like a chance. Guaranteed flinch, guaranteed flinch. Again, it's only three, but still. You know. When you know you need them, you definitely need them. You throw one out there. Throw one out there. Right? I guess in like one way, okay, it kinda sucks if you're trying to also eagle eye, but don't eagle eye. <laughs> eagle eye is I don't like Eagle Eye is not that good of a node for Steven. Alright, I don't think Eagle Eye is a good node for Steven. It's much, much better if you just have someone else buff uh, his crit, right? I mean you know, he needs the extra attack anyway, so just bring like a physical, you know, support that also buffs crit, right, for him. Yeah, again, it's not like, it's, it's not like the best thing ever, but this is not bad. What? No, people are, wow, I don't trip it, man. Anyways, I, I, I just checked, dude, dude literally just called them garbage notes. What? What? <laughs> Anyways. <gasps> all right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Okay, Reuniclus. Wow, this looks like a Reuniclus. <laughs> like the like the shape of the grid looks like a Reuniclus. Um, well, it doesn't physically resemble, but like in an abstract sense, just like cluster of things. Anyways, um, all right, let's let's, let's check it out. Hope, hopefully, get some good stuff here because Reuniclus is another unit that's kind of like. Runicles kind of feels like the the Lorelei Lapras of five star assemble units. Oh, that might be a bit too harsh. I mean, she's not that bad, but like she's she's just kind of like oh, she's like there. When you look at like when you look at all the psychic units in the game, it's like banger after banger. And then it's like Caitlyn, <laughs> and then everything else like around her is like just. Monsters, right? And then, and then you just have like, okay, okay. <laughs> which is like, oh yeah, this unit still exists, right? Um, very, very forgettable unit, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, 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 they made her better. So we've got speed plus twenty, special attack plus twenty. Those are good. Um, furious brain is nice. Thirty percent multiplier there. Critical eye on her train move. Was her train move the one that gave? Um, that was what special attack and special defense. I do not ever use. I l never use. <gasps> I after I pulled this unit, I might have used her like three times tops, like ever. Five maybe. I mean, I've, I definitely used her in my like master mode, not master mode. Uh, what's it called? Um, champion stadium run. Or not champions. Oh, same thing. Um, gauntlet run because I had to use every single unit I had, but okay, okay, so defense special defense plus one. All right, cool. Um, critical eye on that, sync power flux, and super freebie nine. That's nice. Okay, okay, but on one hand, is is getting a free move next 
every time after you use a move good? Yes, it's good. But like... Bro, what is this for then? <laughs> Why is anyone ever gonna click this ever again? <laughs> This is this this unit might as well only just have like three moves and honestly One of them is hidden power. So like considering again, you're just getting like free moves every time This might as well only literally just have two moves you, This unit might might as well just have psychic and the trainer move like you should straight up have two borderline just completely useless moves Yeah like, what's, what's the point of any of this? <laughs> the other two moves. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's good, right? Free move next, like, every every single hit on super fucking stages. But I mean, it's Caitlyn, bro. <laughs> like, outside of super effective stages, like, when are you ever really going to use her <laughs> elsewhere? <laughs> um, Her, like, stupid, like, striker but also a tank gimmick is very outdated in today's standards like there's so many so many better damage healers slash tanks right um i mean even back in her day like you know steven mew like those, those are all much much better tank but also damage healers right um but yeah i mean it's it's good it's good what's her base i remember her base special attack being really high right yeah her base special attack was really really high to begin with and you know, get extra 20 over there, that's definitely nice. And then sync power flex is definitely really, really nice. Um, sync move ball power, you get extra 30% on Furious Brain. Yeah, I I it's gonna be good. I I feel like it's gonna be good. Cause the thing with her is like she just didn't first one, her only move is psychic, that's a three gauge move. Right, so BP's not super high. Two, she just didn't have a multiplier, right? I don't believe she had a single multiplier. Uh, yeah, she's straight up zero multipliers, zero, zero multipliers. So now, first of all, you get an extra 20 on special attack, which makes her already very, very high special attack, even higher. And then yeah, now you actually have a multiplier, right? And on top of that, you have, you know, critical eye over there, which is not critical eye. Pfft. I mean, critical eye is good too, <laughs> to max out her own um, uh, crit. Then you have sync power flux, which is a really, really good um, sync nuke. And you know, you basically combined your two moves into one, <laughs> right? Uh, with with the free move next, she's she's probably gonna actually be able to do some good damage now, DPS wise. Um, I mean, it's you know, don't don't expect it to be hitting like like Leer or whatever, but otherwise, I mean, yeah, you got a good nuke here, right? Yeah, four sync nuke. Power up nodes, right? And if sync power flux. She's gonna be nice, she's gonna be nice. Uh, this is this is not like a Chris situation, but good all around, right? She, she got stuff that she needed, which is damage boost. Got stuff that she didn't really need, which is a move that already exists on her kit, but like, you know, moved onto another move and combined them and made it better. Um, but you know, it's, it's good. It's all, all good stuff. Um, none of these none of these nodes are useless I feel like all all six of these nodes would be borderline, you know must pickups No matter what you know situation you're running her in Well, I guess okay if you're not sinking with her then okay don't pick up sick power flex Or if you're not doing damage with her don't. I mean if you're <laughs> Why 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 are you not it's, she's a damage dealer, <laughs> right? Why would you bring her to not do damage? That makes no sense. Um, again, that stupid tank thing is is like gone. Like that's not even that's not even like it's not even like funny. Right. But hey, yeah, that's why this one. I guess hope y'all enjoyed my guys. Link in the comments down below. Uh, like you the this. We're gonna have some more Pokemon Masters content. Uh, good stuff, I'd say. Right. None of these are like groundbreaking, but I don't think any of these are like terrible either. Even the Steven Grib expansion. I don't think that's. I don't think that's terrible. Like. I get it, we've been getting like a lot of really, 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 really good expansions recently, you know, um, Lance, Gloria, right? But doesn't mean that's that one, that's, that's not terrible, man. People were telling me like, this guy just got like, like, Mr. Stone just got hit by like a meteorite, 
right? Or something. Like an excavation went wrong and, and dude's grid got just obliterated. No, it's I, again, it's not crazy, but like it's good. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. And again, he could still get the horizontal expansion, which could actually make for some really, really nice um, uh, synergy with some of the some of his new new notes that he got. Right? What if you know, for example, if in his horizontal expansion they gave him some sort of MP regen for bullet punch? What if they give him just you know, one MP back every time after he sinks. That will be very good. You have a guaranteed, you have a guaranteed flinch every single f sink cycle. And if the opponent doesn't have like very, very um, isn't uh, you know, if the opponent like isn't super resistant to flinch, like they don't like recover instantly, which you know, it's not super common, right? Uh, you could almost just flinch lock the opponent entirely right because if the opponent straight up doesn't have any mitigation at all like you it's already borderline like they're gonna be a flinch for the entire as, as long as you get like MP back right after every sink for, for um, bullet punch and you know even if even if you don't you still have you know you could use one guaranteed flinch and bullet punch and you still have two 60% flinches in iron head like you could iron head Bullet Punch, Iron Head, right. I know this is all th theoretical, like his horizontal expansion could be like complete garbage, right? And you know, we won't be having this comp. I, I'm just saying, there's there's a lot of possibilities with, with this, right? That could be really, really nice and cool, right? With the horizontal expansion. And hopefully that actually gives him some DPS too. So there's also that. Again, it's not like there's nothing wrong. There's still, he still didn't get any DPS, right? But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, that's what this one. I hope I'll jump in the guys in the comments down below. Enjoy the video. Good night. I'm going to bed. Bye.